So in this, we are going to have a continuation to the revisions that we have been uh, we're actually having, uh, which is on our measurement of power in our three phase systems or working with the AC machines. So this is August 2024 exam, we're not gonna waste much time guys if you yeah, had the formulas and everything. So they were given the power input to air. So it's a what? 2000 volts, 50 hertz, three phase motor where you are working with a motor. We know that we're gonna have a leg in power factor running at full load and efficiency of 85% is measured by what? Two watt meters. So what we are given there is the input voltage, which is the line voltage of what? 2000. At this frequency, the motor, and also we've got the percentage efficiency, which is what? 85% is measured by two watt meters. The readings on the watt meters are respectively. These are the readings. One, it's going to be one, another one, two. In your own way, you take them in your own way. If you choose this one to be your one, this one will be your two. Right? If you choose this one to be your one, this one will be your two. The way that you choose, guys, does not affect. Me. Please, do not affect that one. Do not, do not even worry about that. So that was going to be, I'm just going to take them for the watt meter one, respectively, just going to use one and so on. So this is 300 uh, kilowatts. Then for the second one, uh, I'm just going to take it as it is 100 uh, kilowatts. And as you can see, for this condition calculator, you are not even told that there was a reversal or what. So these values remain positive as they are. So calculate for these values. The first part on 5.21, the power taken by the motor. The power taken, this is the input to the motor. So the input to the motor is what? Is our total power, which is the sum of the watt meters. Remember, you're using what? Two watt meter there. Watt meter one plus watt meter two. So that's the input. So you're simply going to add the two. 300 plus what? Plus 400 in kilowatts. So this was going to 300 plus. Where am I getting the 400? Where am I getting this, guys? This is 100. So it's going to be 400 kilowatts. Just like that. So moving on to 5.22, that is to calculate the power factor of the motor. So on the calculation of the power factor of the motor, definitely we are supposed to think of what? Think of the formula, uh, tan phi, which carries the, the, the angle, right? And also the formula, guys, that you're going to use. It's going to depend, are you going to use this or are you going to... The way that you take, guys. Remember I said you can even use it this way then you calculate the angle where you're going to calculate the power effect in this case we are dealing with the motor we know it's a negative power factor but in your calculator you can even leave that part. i said it you can even leave that part so guys everything is there here we just need to find our values i mean substitute our values uh calculate the angle so that's the tan of the angle is equal to the square root of three into uh, according to us, watt meter 2 is 100 minus 1, which is 300 over their sum, uh, the difference. Guys, here, what am I doing here? This is the sum. So we need their sum here. Uh, that's W this plus this one, all right? So that will be 300 plus 100, which is the sum you already added. This is 400, or you can just add, guys, 300 plus 100, or 100 plus 300 is up to you. Right, it's up to you there. So this is what four hundred. Okay, uh, guys, I've been working with like I didn't stop after introduction. I'm just continuing. I did not even stop. I think I was just supposed to rest, you know, so that I'll record these ones later. No problem, guys. It's for you guys. You know your requests. 
your requests, they will be talking me like, oh, okay. okay, anyways, this is it. Simplify on your calculator. Uh, that was going to give you a negative, 0, 0.866. Like I said, do not like uh, be concentrated about that negative there. You can even ignore it, right? So actan of 0, 0.866. Just going to ignore that and find our angle. So our angle was going to be 40, 893, yeah, something like that, 893 degrees. All right, so use as a negative, as a positive. It's not going to affect, guys, all right? So you can even ignore that one. So therefore, our power factor, guys, was going to be calculated. So our power factor was going to be cos of what? Cos of 40,893 degrees, which is as a decimal part of this, you are going to obtain 0, 0.756. So you can use a negative. Cost is not affected there. Do not even worry. Cost is not affected by those negative of acute angle. Cost of a negative acute angle, uh, guys, is just positive. It will remain as a positive. So that was the condition. And like I said, this that one you are given that it's a motor. So definitely this one, we know it's going to have what? Legging power factor. All right. So that was the case. Then another part, let us quickly see. The line current on 5.23. So 5.23, the line current, remember we've got the input here. Your input carries the line current. Remember I talked about these guys. So here, it was just gonna be, guys, uh, here's just direct guys. I think we are together now for those who have been following our classes. Uh, here, it's just gonna be like this. All right, we need the course here, this one. So you're going to divide cos of phi, which is our power factor. So that's our line current, guys. So let's substitute our values. Remember, the input is the sum uh, to the motor, this one, 400 kilo. So that is 400 kilo times 10 to the exponent of 3 over the square root of 3, the line voltage we were given. Remember, our line voltage was 2,000. All right, so big. So, so big, 2,000, that's 2,000, like this, times our cos phi, which is what? Uh, 0 0.756. So that is it, guys. You're going to have your line current. In this case, uh, that was going to be 152.738 amperes. All right, guys. So let's see. Now we've got a load shedding, guys. So here I'm supposed to finish before this anything happens so let me let me see if i'm gonna finish if anything happens guys you know that it happened like that all right you know that it was a lot shady so anyways let's see then the output um just to hope i'm gonna win let me just use this space here all right so the output here it was 5.24 all right 5.24 the output of the motor uh, so yeah, did I mention, did I mention something? Did I mention? All right. It was just, all right. There I mentioned, okay. I wanted to see something. All right. No problem guys. So remember we are given efficiency here. So definitely, uh, the output can be calculated, uh, because we do know that if it is efficient, it is simply output over what input. Okay. So this will be per unit efficient as a decimal. So our per unit Efficiency just divide by what 100 this one it was going to be 0 0.85 so we are saying 0 0.85 is equal to output which is the one that we need over what the input remember the input is the total power so we have this one which is what 400 so this is 400 remember it is in what in kilowatts so the, definitely our answer there for the output was going to be kilowatts so you're going to cross multiply here. That's one times output, which is output is equal to the product of these two 0, 0.85 times 400, which is in what? In kilowatts. So definitely our answer, like I said, was going to be in what? In kilowatts. So the output of the motor was going to be 340 uh kilowatts like this 
All right, so this is what you're going to give uh, from this calculation. Uh, that is it, guys, from our calculations. We just have to work out as uh, many questions as we can do, as many revisions as you can. Like I said, guys, I just gonna, I just got affected by load shedding. So uh, I don't think I'm going to continue. For those who wanted more of these revisions, guys, today it's a sport day. It means we're going to end here. Uh, until I don't know, we'll see. But when we have time, we're gonna add more classes, guys. So let's do revise and prepare, guys, for these exams which are ahead of time. Uh, prepare your tests. Make sure that the, your 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 marks for the tests they are good enough that even for exam, guys, you're not gonna like. You just need to cross off. Okay, so make sure that you have everything uh, set up. Then your exam, do the best in your exam. Uh, especially your exam. Do not relax because of the marks that you got for test one and test two. 